Hi, it's me again, Elaine. For today's video, we're going to talk about how to start your blog in 2020 and why blogging is not dead yet. So I think blogging is not yet dead because, you know, some people still read things on the internet these days. And especially if you're looking for information and you Google it, the usual result of your Google search would be a blog site which discusses the topics that you want to inquire about, right, or you searched about. I think blogging in that sense is still very important and it's not dead yet. And yeah, although people nowadays use audio or listen to audio and podcasts, or view vlogs like this in order to learn something or be entertained. Vlogs are still a good medium for acquiring information, you know. And also, if you want to be a content creator, blogging is a good way for you to spread your message and to actually talk about the things that matter most to you. And I also believe that blogging is like the mother of social media, you know what I mean? It may be out of focus every now and then, but it was always there waiting for you. How do you start a blog in 2000? or in 2020 the first step is write down your desired topics so knowing what you want to talk about is crucial in your blogging journey because you want to blog about something you care about right that you, you want to blog about something that matters to you so I suggest that you write down a couple of topics that are interesting for you or a couple of topics that you're really passionate about for me I'm passionate about content management, content creation, self-improvement or self-development. I'm always listening to podcasts about that and reading blog posts about it, but most of it, mostly nowadays I'm listening to podcasts and watching videos on YouTube. So I suggest you write down your desired topics and go from there. Number two is to choose a title from each category. So from the topics you wrote down, this is what I did when I started when I officially started my blog in September of 2019. I mean, I was blogging before that, but in September of 2019, or the month before that, in August, I decided that I wanted to publish blog posts on a consistent basis, so I decided to batch it all up. Uh, I talked about this on a previous video. Batching up your blog posts is very efficient. It's very effective also if you want to be a consistent blogger. Okay, back to, back to the second step, choosing a title from each category. So from the topics that you wrote down, group them according to categories, general topics that you want to talk about, and then put them under each category. So that's what I did. I did a couple of categories when I started. It was about 10 categories maybe, but it doesn't matter how many categories you have. It's just that you want to be able to group them accordingly. You want to be able to create those categories so that in the future you have a guide for your for each blog post that you want to write. You have a guide about which topics you want to cover. And step three, write an article. Now the exciting part, you write. I do understand that some people find it hard to write an article sometimes or to write sometimes. And that includes me, yours truly. It's kind of hard to, you know, just sit down and write and write and write. But my advice for you uh, regarding this, if you really want to start this blogging thing, is just to start writing. To start um, with whatever words that you have in your head Put it on paper or put or type it on the screen. Just start doing it. And then as you write, you actually learn and you actually uncover the things that you want to write about. I believe you will also discover your own voice once you start writing. Step four, pick a platform. So like any good blogger out there, I started on WordPress as most of us do. I also had a blogspot blog once upon a time. Now it's called Blogger, right? Blogger.com. And, you know, just pick a platform. There are many blogging platforms out there that are free. And you can start with those free ones. You don't have to start with something that you, you pay. As for me, I started with all the free ones. Right now, my blog is hosted by Netlify and GitLab. I went the developer-friendly route, so to speak. It's not really beginner-friendly because I'm using a static site generator called Hugo. I don't really know how to explain it, but my, my website is just you know static pages they're not really dynamic like wordpress or squarespace or those other sites they're just static pages that are being generated from a repository somewhere on the internet every time i, I try to make changes on it and yep that's what static site generators are i guess and it's all free you can actually 
can actually download Yugo on your computer and you can post it for free on gitlab.com. Netlify or netlify.com just makes things much more convenient for developers to publish their websites using those static site generators. I won't go in depth on all of these things because I just want to create a, a guide for blogging to, in 2020 that isn't very uh, technical. If you want to be more technical, you can ask me and maybe I can help you with your blog or website. Just go to my website and contact me there or send an email to hi at elenakino.com. So some beginner friendly platforms that I'd recommend would be WordPress, of course, and then you have Squarespace, we have Weebly. I like Weebly more than Wix because for me, Wix is uh, kind of slow. I mean, it has good templates, but it's very slow for me and speed is very important on the internet these days and that's one of the factors why I built my site on static site generator generator because of speed and security I guess and also you can use blogger yeah blogger because it still exists and it's actually good for when you want to be found in Google or in search engines because it's under Google and step five you start your blog so now that you have your topics you have your categories you wrote an article and you picked a platform you can now start your blog a bonus step for starting your blog in 2020 would be to create an official bio description. This bio description you can use in any social media platform like on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook where you have to write something about yourself and it's good to streamline this so that you won't have to think about what you're going to write on your bio. It's good also for personal branding. So those are my simple tips and steps for tips and steps. Those are my simple tips and steps for how to start your blog in 2020. I hope you go for it. Keep moving, keep pushing, keep creating, keep publishing. I'm rooting for you and I hope uh, you reach out to me. Tell me what your blog is all about or if you already have a blog right now, where your blog can be found so I can see it, we can connect with each other and be friends. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I really appreciate that clicked on this video and that you watched it until this part, until the end. I hope to see you again soon. If you like this video, please click the like button below. If you want to see more videos like this, just click the subscribe button. Let's look at my cheat sheet. What is a static site generator?